the bay, catch big fish, come home. Hunter's picking up a buddy here in just a second. Going to Sammy's house. Sammy, what are we doing? Some bakey rigging? Yeah, trying to catch some bait. Got Hunter with us. Got Sammy with us. Got Brylon with us. You got something, don't you, Hunter? How's it going? Good? That bottom one is, yeah. Yep. Yeah, bring it bottom one. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Shake counters up to twenty. Sammy's a little homemade gun yeah. hooker. Using the ceviche rigs. This is what we use catching L wise. Put your lights out, put these on, tie the swivel on to your top line, six, eight pound test. Put your ounce to three quarter to ounce and a half weight on the bottom. Drop it down to where your bait is and just raise it up and down. We use a, a white with a red head, and we use a green head. This is called a fish skin. It's almost a white. Basically, you know, that's what we use. That's what we was catching them on today, about 20. Yeah. On the red heads. 20 foot, yeah. on the red heads. <coughs> now, people, we come over here without no bait. I like them. A guy that's, oh, I like a guy that's confident. We come over here without no bait, we, we're going to catch bait before we've got big fish. It's like a white bass to turn this floor. Sammy, sometimes you you catch something that you don't want to, don't you, bud? Yeah. Catch these junk fish. White bass. I heard you had a good time. It's been fun so far. Hopefully we'll catch some big ones. Well, Brian said he had a good time. Oh yeah. Sammy's always having a good time. Now look here. The captain had 80 on his mind. When we come over here, we end up with 84. So, we're ahead of schedule. You guys ready for the fun to begin? Ready for it to start. All right. Like we come to join the party. And the rods and reels I use. This is what they call an ugly stick tiger rod, and this is in Cabela's Saltwater series, and I use a medium light. It's 12 to 30 pound test line, and you can use one to four ounce lures. They're eight feet long, and I use uh, AB Garcia 6500 C3s. It's got a clicker, bait clicker here. If you set it out there, set your drag the way you want it, and then go back, you can turn your head or whatever, and if you don't see it bite, you'll hear the clicker. You'll hear it go zzzz. Okay. And then you can go get it, because a lot of times, you know, when I fish by myself, 
you know, I depend on that. There you go. I always keep your rod tip up. I don't get that. See that uh, before you raise that up. Make sure that that don't get hooked up in that. So you just you just let it down on him and then pull him up and reel down. There you go. Double hooked up here. He's right Hunter's back. already got his up. He yeah, he got a little twerp. Yeah, can you nade it yourself, Hunter? Good job, man. Good job. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Nice. That's what we're out here after. Yeah, buddy. You better believe it. Yeah, if that something hit that one right there, we wasn't looking. Hunter, 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 Hunter. <laughs> Don't fall down there, buddy. Oh, my God. <laughs> What, what's going on, Hunter? You might have to go right on up there, Hunter, and let this come back here. Tighten the drag just a little there. Just a little. Hunter, you might have, Hunter, you might have a little good on that one right there, buddy. Making fun of him. Yeah. Hunter, pull, look here, pull up, and then reel down on him. Now. Yeah, you're not running them croppies now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's way out there, ain't he? Yeah. I thought, I thought you, was, I thought he's gonna come up here and have to knock on your head, there, Hunter. <laughs> he's sleeping. He's sleeping, wouldn't he, mm. bro? My goodness, God. <laughs> now don't let you, don't ever let your rod tip down. You gotta keep, you gotta keep it up. And, you let it down for any long period of time, it'll you know, get out there. Yeah, Hunter, quit playing around with that thing, man. I'm trying. Dang, that's a big one. Yeah, yeah, Hunter, get you a load of that crappie right there. How many fillets would it take you to get that much meat? There you go. Just done, Hunter. Is that what we're after, Hunter? Mm hmm. Yeah, buddy. Good job. Say something stole our uh, drift bait. Whoa. About an 18 two foot leader? Yeah, about a two foot leader. The... And I use a one out Gamakatsu live bait hook. Okay. You know, you use this, I think it's a number 10, or maybe a number one, the big swivel. Okay. So. Oh. And then, well, what kind of line do you use on that? What size? I use 15 pound test. It's called Cigar, and it's a fluorocarbon. 
It don't have a lot of stretch. You gotta watch your drag. But I get it in big spools because I use quite a bit of it. But I can put this on here and I'll use it until the rod gets low on line. Then I replace it. Replace it. You don't leave it sitting out in the sun. If you do, you know, it'll ruin it. It'll get to where it just start breaking everywhere. But it's tough line. Like I said, this 15 pound test, I've caught 40, 45 pound fish on it. It'll hold up on it. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Is that a keeper? Yeah. It's a hybrid. How long does that have to be to keep? Golly, this just broke. This broke your rod, Sammy. Here. Yeah, buddy, bro. Another good one. Yeah, buddy. Probably okay, two or three years. There, let me know if he's got... And we was at a restaurant, some guy walked up that I know. Right here. Right here. No, they, they're for Jim Zettler. Yeah, reel up on him. Right down. Yeah. Yeah. Supposed to. Okay. There you go. Got a bunch of line. Yeah, there is a bunch of line on that. Yeah. Yeah, we got 84. But we burned them pretty good. Feels like a pretty good one. That's on the end of the dock. Yeah, fishing. Yeah. Thumbs get tired. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> My thumbs get tired. <laughs> <laughs> He can't, man. I'm telling you, I ain't never seen a bait. Gosh, I'm. Said he's get thumbs getting tired. My hands are cramping. Yeah. Hurt it all. Yeah. Billy, make sure you don't edit that out. <laughs> Bill, you want to try something? Yeah. 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 Are you even gaining anything out of you? Oh, my dang hands are grabbing. I don't see no sinker yet. Oh, oh yeah. What are y'all doing? He's back here messing around, Sammy. These little old bitty fish. Yeah, boy. Don't put one that deep again. Next time, Brian can get it. <laughs> That's a good, that's a good one. Hold him, hold him up our sideways, too. There's a whole lot, and I'm sitting here with my teeth in my mouth. See all them fish yeah, are? Yeah, man. Yeah, throw him in there, honey. Throw him in there, line. Yeah, I was about to say, Brian, you're getting there. Brian, he looked up, looked like two, ain't he? Yeah. Now don't tighten that drag too much now. You get too heavy and it'll break your line. Set this back here. Okay. Right now. Get up here and get a little brow in here on the old Bill Dance up here on the ugly stick. Yeah, on the old ugly stick. Uh oh. You got one taking some drag out, don't you? Reel down on it. Net, huh? Net, net. Jim, I'll mm. Shoot you out. Oh, it's yeah. a little football too, ain't it? Yeah. I'm in the boat. Been hit. Yeah, Brown. Yeah, buddy. Right there, yeah. Good. Now put this on. Yeah, it's on. Tighten that drag a little bit. You think it's good? Now, raise that phone. Pump it.
sort of got your pole bent. Yeah. What's oh, a 10 pound crappie, Hunter? <laughs> They fight. Yeah, they do. Pound for pound. Another one for the pot. <coughs> this makes me six. Three. Come on. Come on, get out of here. Jim, I want. Even a blind hog get an acorn every once in a while. You're gonna get tangled up in you, Sammy, right there, maybe. You keep your fish over out of the way. I always got a little old dang, I think. Don't you? Yeah, right. Little old bit in. Oh, God. Oh, there's a little stripe. Need the net? You can get the net for him? Yeah. Oh, you got him in here. He'll quit flopping. <laughs> oh, greenhorn. <laughs> greenhorn on the net, boy. Look at him. <laughs> there he goes. You got, got, got him that time, that time boy. <laughs> that's a pretty good one right there, ain't it? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. Football. fish on that one right there You got brown. You got a blue gear. Hey. You gonna get the net for him, Hunter? Hey, what's that net there? Buddy. Yeah, buddy. Oh man, what a football right here, boys. Look here, Sammy. That's a good football right there, ain't it? Yeah. What you got over here, Hunter? He's got a catch and release. He's got a catch and release on this side, Sammy? Yeah. Come right here and look at this, Randy, on the screen. Come on, goodness. See that water fish Golly. right there? Man, we rode into him, didn't we, buddy? I don't know, we might want to release. Which one do you want to release? I don't know, but let's see this, this seemed like a pretty good one. No, nah, it's about to, well, it's maybe a little bit bigger, not by much. Same ant right there just got hit. Yeah. Brown's maybe a little bit bigger, Hunter. Okay. Throw it back there, Brown. In the live way. Oh, no. That's no, bigger. that's bigger. You think it is? Yeah. I guess it is, ain't it? Yeah, throw it back, Brown. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, buddy. <laughs> really, Sammy, really. <laughs> Give him a hand there, Hunter, or take this one. Come on, right. <laughs> Hunter ain't here. There you go. <laughs> Sam is going. <laughs> hey, trying to make me work. I know what you're trying to do. Yeah, that's a nice one, Riley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy. Put him in here. Puppy fights pretty good, don't you, Hunter? Mm-hmm. Put him in here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, this. <laughs> I think the one you got in. Wow. Boys, what a morning. Sammy? Yes, sir. Buddy, they will guide. Done it it's the again. smell, buddy. I told you. Done it again, bud. It's that smell. Yep. Boys, 831, we let me down. That's not too bad, is it? Brian, what we got going on right here, man? Well, about to play these fish out. Old Sammy, he's going to show Them us how to do it. That, are they eating grass over there? They're eating grass <laughs> over here, bud. We got some grass fed. Yeah, they're getting grazing. Yeah. Looking good. See if you can grab a hold of them there. Hold them all up there. That's what you call it right there now. All right. That's a long one there. That's a big one here. I need to up a When playing these, we want to start right here at the dorsal fin. He's going to get one mounted. That'd be a good one to get mounted, wouldn't mm -hmm. it? Going right down the backbone. When we come right here at the gills, then we go through right here, down to the belly. Then just trim it off right around the rib cage. And then just slice her off. Snap, we'll flop him over and do it again. Right in the dorsal fin. Down the backbone. Out the bottom fin. Go up right behind the gill. And just peel him off right around the rib cage. Hey. 
Yeah, Sammy, you can kind of explain to them what you're doing here. Well, we're going to fillet this, take the skin off. But if you look, there's a groove. You can run your finger down right there. And what we do is we want to see, see if you see this meat here where that red is, you want to stay right at the top of it. That way you'd leave most of the red on the skin. Yep. We just go right down through here. Then just about the top of that red. When you turn him over, I messed up a little bit. All this red has to come off, and it's not very thick. So that's, that's where Sammy, in my personal opinion, electric fillet knife would get you too far down. That's really where yeah. you... Yeah, where you use it manual is a lot better, ain't it? It is for these crappie stuff like that. I use electric knife. Yeah, but this you want to be this right here out. And you just get a hold of the bottom of it and peel him right off. Yeah. That right there is what you're after, ain't it? Yes. Catfish bait. Yeah, baby. That right there is what you don't want. Yeah. Out of the fish, right? Yep. The red streak. You didn't want no red in this fish. No, nope, no red. And none of this right here. Any of that fatty stuff's got to come off. Yeah. That's like the silver skin of deer meat, ain't it? It is. Just don't want it. No. You did it pretty good on that one. Yeah. But see if you fillet it. Let me show you. You get down on this skin. Seems like you're wasting a lot. But when you turn it over, that's yeah. what you don't want to eat. Any yeah. of that. Yeah, any of the red. Now, what do you do too, Sam? When you do this right here, when you when you take it inside the house, there, what's what's your game plan? What's what do you like to do? I with put it? it in a salt bath, heavy on salt. I like to put three or four pound of ice on top of it. You can put it in the sink. Put the ice on it. You know, get heavy. Just leave it. Till the ice melts, take it off, wash it off, and freeze it, whatever you want to do with it. It's good to go then, ain't it? Yeah. You can cook it, put it up, whatever you want to do, can't you? Yeah. But now if you're looking to keep fish for a while and not freeze it, you have to put you about a quarter cup of lemon juice in it and a little salt. You're good for about five days. 